back to my channel. I'm back this week with another video for you guys. But today we're gonna be doing a review on the Pure Cosmetics Dirty Girl Detoxifying Mud Mask with Pascalite Clay. This is just supposed to detoxify your skin and treat acne. So if you're interested in watching a review on this mask, keep on watching. But if you're not a part of my own family yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And yeah, let's get into this Pure Cosmetics Dirty Girl Mask review. Alright guys, so this is what the mask looks like in the bottle. This bottle is 4 ounces and this is $29. And now the main ingredients on this mask are calcium and benantite, cucumber extract and salicylic acid. So this is supposed to exfoliate your skin, it is supposed to treat acne. Pretty much if you have acne, you should look for products that have salicylic acid. So this is a very good mask for that. It is supposed to unclog your pores and eliminate impurities and it also soothes and calms the skin's appearance. So if you have really bad acne or you just feel like your skin is not in the right place This is a very good mask for you because it will detoxify your skin So pretty much the instructions say that you have to apply the mask liberally to clean skin and treat for 5 to 20 minutes And then you rinse the mask with warm water Now I did do my skincare routine and I took off all my makeup my face is completely clean I will leave that routine in the top up here and there you can see what I use to take off my makeup and also to do my skincare and I always like to do my masks after my skincare so that is what I'm gonna be doing today so this mask doesn't have a pump and it comes in a bottle so it's not like a sheet mask that you just put on you actually have to use either your hands or a brush I feel like with mask I always like to use these flat foundation brushes or a silicone sponge because the silicone sponge won't suck up your product I'm gonna be using my acti Labs foundation brush because this is the only clean one I have just make sure that the flat foundation brush doesn't have any product on it. Make sure that it is completely clean. You don't want to apply your mask with makeup on the mask because I'll just defeat the purpose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my brush and I'm gonna put some of the mask in the brush. And as you can tell, this mask is a, like a taupey brown color. And I'm gonna quickly apply it. And I'm just gonna apply this everywhere on my face. Pretty much what we're going to be looking for is how the skin feels after the mask. I'm going to see if it just feels softer and see if it has less impurities or if it feels like it's actually doing something. I do have a couple of pimples right here. I have been breaking out lately. So I'm going to see if those clear out or at least get better after using this mask. I'm adding a very thin layer. I don't want to do a thick, thick layer because this will dry down and if I put too much, this will be a pain to take off, so keep that in mind. First impressions, this is very tingly on the skin. I've never done a detox mask, so maybe my skin has a lot of toxins, but I'm just gonna finish up the forehead. Just make sure not to get it in your eyebrows, because then it will never come off. Alright guys, so I just applied the mask everywhere on my face. As you can tell, you can barely tell I have it on. Once you apply it, it does kind of thin out and it kind of blends into your skin tone, which is weird. So right now, it is 1.25 in the morning. Yes, I know it is like super, super late. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait 20 minutes. So at 1.45, I will be back to show you guys how the mask looks like after it is dry. And then after that, I'm going to take it off and show you guys my final results. But so far, first impressions, the tingling sensation is kind of going away. I Feel like that was kind of like a first impression on my skin i don't think it's gonna burn my skin because it doesn't look red but i don't know i feel like this mask is actually doing something it feels like it is cleaning and detoxifying my skin so i hope it has good results so yeah that is my first impressions on this mask so far i am liking it yeah i'll be back in a little bit all right guys so it is 146 if you can see that it's 146 and the mask is completely dry like literally i have to like make like strength to talk right now because this is so tight what i'm gonna say right away if you have very very dry skin i would not recommend this mask for you i would feel like if you have very dry skin this will just dry out your skin way too much the tingling sensation completely went away after one minute like literally when i first applied it it was like super tingly a minute or two went by and then the tingling sensation wasn't there anymore it is completely dry like when i touch it nothing comes off on my fingers so i can see why i 
lot of the reviews said that it does take a while to take off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in the bathroom, I'm gonna rinse this off with warm water, and then I'm gonna come back and tell you guys my first impressions and final thoughts on this product. Alright guys, so this is my skin right after taking off the mask. I do have to say, my skin does feel very soft, it feels very clean, it does feel detoxified, and what I really do like is that my pores did get minimized a lot and I did have some blemishes right here and they did lighten up a lot like that was really red and right now it just looks normal and I feel like if you use this mask at least once a week you will get better results if you do have a lot of breakouts I feel like your breakouts would go away the blackheads that I had on my nose are gone as well so that is also really really nice I do have to say if you have dry skin I would not recommend this mask even if you have more normal skin I feel like this mask wouldn't be for you but if you have combination skin, if you have oily skin, if you have acne prone skin, if you get a lot of blemishes, if you have blackheads, if you do have a lot of breakouts, this mask is for you. I do have to say I do like the consistency of the mask. I like how when you apply it, it is super easy to apply. I know that it can be messy if you don't have a brush, but if you use a foundation brush, just like the ones you would use for your foundation to apply the mask, it is not messy at all. It is super, super simple. I like the packaging. I like how it worked. I like how easy it was to apply and I like how it actually feels like it's working because when you first apply it you get that tiny tingling sensation for a second and then it dries down and then I do have to say it did take me a while to take off the mask so it is kind of hard to take off but for the results that I am getting I am willing to go through that so if you're trying to do this mask kind of hairy I wouldn't really recommend that and this is the kind of mask that you would do once a week or maybe once every two weeks this is not something that you would do every day so yeah guys, I feel like that is it for this video. I gave you guys the pros, the cons, what this does. I showed you how it works and I gave you kind of like who this is for and who this is not for. So I hope you found this helpful in your mask life. I know there are so many masks out there and I hope this video helped you in any way, shape or form. So if you did, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel before you leave. I highly recommend this mask and I approve of it. So yeah, let me know if there's anything you would like me to review next. Any makeup, any mask, any skincare from the drugstore or high and just let me know and I will do that for you. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys. Bye.